Terminated, engine speed in service. Ten more engine threes in service, two thirty seven.
Service patient refusal. In this video, I want you to be the judge. All right, so put on your judge robe, get your gavel ready, sit in your, your chair, your judge's seat. That's your judge's bench. And I want you to hear this case, and you tell me your opinion of how you would rule in this case. A lesbian couple, that is two women, decided that they wanted to have a child. So instead of going through all of the artificial insemination route with a doctor, they posted an advertisement in the local newspaper. A man answered the advertisement, and I guess they had, you know, questionnaires. They wanted to get to know the person first to see if they wanted him to be their sperm donor. So he agreed to be the sperm donor, signed away his parental rights, and they pr proceeded with the procedure. The baby was born, everything was fine, and then the lesbian couple broke up. I don't believe they were married or anything like that. They were together. So they broke up. The other woman, uh, in this case, completely vanished, disappeared, didn't want, didn't want to have anything to do with uh, the, the other lesbian, nor with the child. So the lesbian that put the ad in the, in the paper sued the guy for child support, the sperm donor for child support. The judge ruled in her favor and the guy has to pay child support. The sperm donor has to pay child support. Now, I saw an interview with this lesbian uh, and the guy. And on each side, you know, the host of the, uh, more, it was a morning TV uh, news 
talk show. They, on each side, they had attorneys and uh, columnists, stuff like that. Now, on her side, they said, of course he should pay. He actually befriended the child. Now, he at no point assumed any responsibility. He didn't pay any money. He didn't buy the child any clothes or anything. But because they had this long extended questionnaire and they were able to call him and check him out, they had his phone number uh, and she, she talked to him, called him, you know, she would ask him to come over. They are saying that that built a relationship with the child, although he was just a sperm donor. Here, here of course, is the rub. The other woman is out of the picture completely. They decided to have the child together. They decided to put the advertisement in the paper together. The man had nothing to do with it. He didn't know them. He was a stranger. He was just some Joe Schmo who lived in the same city. I believe, of course, they paid for it, the whole, the whole nine yards. They paid for him to do whatever, put an ad. He showed up, answered their questions. They thought he was okay. Now, I'm assuming he wasn't the only one to answer the advertisement, but he's the one that they selected. He is nothing but a tool in this case, but the judge said that he has to pay child support so judges what how would you all rule on the on this now somebody asked me this question and i said the child should be killed they should do a solomon kill the child why i saw the mother in question she has no love for the child the other woman has absolutely no love for the child doesn't even want to be around the child nor the other nor the her ex-lover or whatever she wants to have nothing to do with anybody in the situation. This child will have developmental problems, associative problems. He is going to, he or she, I forgot what it what they just said child. Uh, he, I'm gonna assume it's a he, he is going to have problems the entire time because he is not living in a home where he is wanted. He's not wanted by anybody. I went asking, I asked a few lesbians on, on, on my, <laughs> On my, in, as a part of my research, and none of them agreed with this woman to sue this guy for child support. None of them, not a one. The only people that uh, they said should be uh, sued for child support is the other woman. That's the couple. The lesbian and the sperm donor are not a couple. They didn't have sex. He donated her sperm. That's it. That was the extent of his relationship with her. And if we're talking about you know, child support, we're talking about parents. In this case, because of the technology that exists and the, uh, the modern relationships, we can have a third person come do something for a couple. This is supposed to be a good thing, but this is what happens. Uh, I think the lesbian should be killed. I think the, the child should be killed. Let's, let's take this nastiness out of the world. The child is not going to grow up and have a happy life. The child is going to have a harsh life. This woman does not want this child. She, if anything, she should put it up for adoption or something like that. Give the child to somebody who wants the child and, and stop tying up the courts with stupid cases where she's suing a sperm donor for child support. Uh, uh, apparently she doesn't have the balls to go and sue the other woman, her ex-wife or ex-lover, whatever she is. Tell me what you think. And thank you for watching. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's harsh. No, that's the wisdom of Solomon. This child is going to have nothing but harshness. Nobody, nobody wants this child. Nobody on this planet wants this child. Nobody. Unless they put it up for adoption and some couple wants, wants a child, uh, that would be the best thing for the child. I, I cannot believe that the judge would say that this man, this man, this third party has to pay child support for something that these two lesbians caused to come into this world. That is ridiculous. And I think the judge is ridiculous. I, I, but this is, these are our courts. These are judges. Judges make decisions like this all the time. I mean, not, not a one of them have balls. And I have no idea who got to this judge 
and turned him into stupid. Because this is this is stupid. No, no, no uh, sane person would allow this lesbian to come into their court and start arguing this case. I would have dismissed the, the case before she even started. I would have been like, sues the sperm donor. No, bye. Uh, with prejudice. No, cannot sue. Bye. No, no. <laughs> and judges can do that. Judges can do that. I mean, the whole frivolous lawsuit thing, uh, it only applies when the judge is able to just dismiss it offhand. And no, no, no hearing any facts. No, you won't come into my court. And that's what he should have done. But instead, he didn't. And then he rendered in her favor. In her favor. This is ridiculous. This is what this uh, the judicial, judicial system is coming to. And I'm assuming the only reason that this went through is because it is a war on men. Men have no rights. Men have to pay bills. But normally, it's a man who's married to a woman or who has a relationship with a woman. At no point did this lesbian say that she loved this man and they, she had a baby with him. He's a sperm donor. At no point, I mean, this it boggles the mind. What is your judgment? In this video, I want you to be the judge. All right, so put on your judge robe, get your gavel ready, sit in your your chair, your judge's seat, at your judge's bench. I want you to hear this case, and you tell me your opinion of how you would rule in this case. A lesbian couple, that is two women, decided that they wanted to have a child. So instead of going through all of the artificial insemination route with a doctor, they posted an advertisement in the local newspaper. A man answered the advertisement, and I guess they had, you know, questionnaires. They wanted to get to know the person first to see they, if they wanted him to be their sperm donor. So he agreed to be the sperm donor, signed away his parental rights, and they pr proceeded with the procedure. The baby was born, everything was fine, and then the lesbian couple broke up. Uh, I don't believe they were married or anything like that. They were together. So they broke up. The other woman, uh, in this case, completely vanished, disappeared, didn't want, didn't want to have anything to do with uh, the, the other lesbian, nor with the child. So the lesbian that put the ad in the, in the paper sued the guy for child support, the sperm donor for child support. The judge ruled in her favor, and the guy has to pay child support. The sperm donor has to pay child support. Now, I saw an interview with this lesbian uh, and the guy. And on each side, you know, the host of the, uh, more, it was a morning TV uh, news talk show. They, on each side, they had attorneys and uh, columnists, stuff like that. Now, on her side, they said, of course he should pay. He actually befriended the child. Now, he at no point assumed any responsibility. He didn't pay any money. He didn't buy the child any clothes or anything. But because they had this long extended questionnaire and they were able to call him and check him out, they had his phone number, uh, and she, she talked to him, called him, uh, you know, she would ask him to come over. They are saying that that built a relationship with the child, although he was just a sperm donor. Here, here, of course, is the rub. The other woman is out of the picture completely. They decided to have the child together. They decided to put the advertisement in the paper together. The man had nothing to do with it. He didn't know them. He was a stranger. 
He was just some Joe Schmo who lived in the same city. I believe, of course, they paid for it, the whole the whole nine yards. They paid for him to do whatever, fit an ad. He showed up, answered their questions. They thought he was okay. Now, I'm assuming he wasn't the only one to answer the advertisement, but he's the one that they selected. He is nothing but a tool in this case, but the judge said that he has to pay child support. So, judges, what? how would you all rule on, the, on this? Now, somebody asked me this question, and I said the child should be killed. They should do a Solomon, kill the child. Why? I saw the mother in question. She has no love for the child. The other woman has absolutely no love for the child, doesn't even want to
え<笑>どういうこと指通してるよね<笑>それなんか第五みたいになるってことね。なんだね。そうなんだ。そうなんだ。<笑>そうなんだ。へえ、そっか。シシなんかシシュってんじゃ入れずに。ああ、そういうこと。うん、えじゃあそんとこ<笑>ありがとうまだアイト<笑>こいつは最低じゃなくてこれは斎藤です。うん足玉ママがいないが足玉ママがいないって聞こえる<笑>ドラマやってるよねだって足玉ママちゃんが出て。ラデュレ、ラデュレ。初見吉成くんこんにちは。白ルチョコ箱買いは意外。え？いやあのインドの友達が。うんそうなんです。
見えないか。え、いいです、いいです。それは自分があれなので、全然気にしないんですけど。受験かどうかもわからないし。タコアコ、ヨウさんいらっしゃい。プロフィール書いてるからプロフィール見られへんとはこれ見たらいいね。言えるけ長いな。長いな違うでしょ。ジョンさんさ、ひどくない？ここ取ってまずない。どっからだよこういうことなの？とりあえず父元いたいんだ何何ベリーピンクベリーピンクベリーピンクおうブラックベリーピンクはブラックこういうのただで止めてくれるんじゃないおそれふマグさんいらっしゃる本当にいつも誕生日あ、そうな私さ、誕生日になった時の次の日枠取ったんだけど34歳<笑>誕生日
そうですね。うなうなってうなって。YouTube に飛躍メニューを取り調べたらアップされちゃう。マジですか？いわりいわり取らなかった。ミツリヒ師匠を見に行こう。ひもなしバンジー。ひもなしバンジーってあれ今日やったんでしょ。<笑>何？何でも答えるな。ゆうくんあったい。
ってのが好きです。<笑>なんかそれであの生虫ウイルスに送られてさ。さ<笑>ぼ冷たい。
どうなんだろうねこのドキドキハクハクする気持ちたたいて出産も大変なやだ痛い絶対痛い腰で砕けちゃう口の中砕けちゃうどうしよう<笑>これ食べやすいどうやって塩いっぱい飲んだとか一緒に飲むよ全然そこまでやわらかくやわらかくないとか新陳代謝とかちょっと肩こりとかもうかなりにくしかなりにくそうやんな何にくそうやんなやわらかやわらかかったらそうなの知らないスーパーベアなにスーパーベアって何するのストレッチしたり柔らかくなってそんな毎日痛いもんこれやってる妹がやってるえーそうだからお風呂上がりとかにこんなにやったけどもう痛すぎてできなかったすぐやめたまたぼりって何もう本当にもう股関節がした方ストレッチマン今もうないでしょビニャンサイン毎日お風呂上がりストレッチでもうお風呂上がり完走するわ毎日<笑>一人だと多分やらないから、みんな行って、みんな行って。年齢の制度、山梨17歳だよ、だってもう、頑張る、頑張ろう。17歳。ストレッチするわ。だってストレッチの方法もわかんない。調べたけど、なんか何なんか体勢みたいな写真。